Tovir strolled through the infirmary on a cloudy night. Most of his retinue were new recruits after the losses from several major battles. He felt awkward at their bedsides, ashamed even. Asking unknown boys to die for you was fine for lords such as Kareth, whose morals are based on what will help him in the present. But for him and his people, it wasn't far from sinful. He had no time to meet them when the sun was out, however. That time was reserved for endless marches, punctuated by bloodshed and conflict. The grizzled pleasantries of knowing a man's name before his death was reserved for the late hours of nights such as these. He paused behind a healer at work and recognized the injured man's face, at least some of his face. It was Bonhart, a veteran of his shield wall. A gash from a curved Mamluk blade disfigured his right side. The healer operated by candlelight, removing dirt and shreds of dead tissue before bathing the wound in willow bark extract. Perhaps that's where this healer gets her name, Tovir pondered. Hemp sutures were used to close the wound. There was no point staying as Bonhart would likely not wake up for several days as his body fought infection. Tovir crept back to his tent, wondering what could be done. The Sultan was hell-bent on war with his old tribes, but surely there was something that could be done to get more troops on their side and stop the hemorrhage of quality veterans in endless war. The fresh quill dipped in ink was brought down to the parchment. Operation Sundial. Time for a change, titled the page. It was a manifesto on how to profit from peace, recruit lords, hire mercenaries and merchants. The only thing that was missing was timing. When would the lion be satisfied with his prizes? How much desert did he have to cross before becoming tired? At what point could this message be given without looking like an ungrateful coward? When the look of agony replaced the fiery pits, perhaps. Hopefully that wouldn't be too late. For all of them. Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another chapter in the adventures of Partia al Eat in Bannerlord. Usank Castle. Aristocorus Castle, and now the city of Ortizia. The northern holdings of the Asarai have been liberated by the great Sultan Partia al it but these successes did not come freely, nor will they stay freely. As he gazes to the north, our hero sees his successes and the cost at which they came. But as he turns his head to the south, he sees there is still much work to be done, and much price still to pay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bannerlord. This first war of liberation is almost done, yes, but there is a small, small matter of the horizon to be taken care of. Tubalis Castle and Kuyaz both belong to Sultan Unkid himself, and they taunt us, a symbol of his supposed power. They cannot be left to stand. Partia al thus far has only liberated the cities of the north. To his own people, he might still seem a foreigner if he were to give up here. He must travel south. He must enter the homeland. He must take at least Tubalus Castle. And if Asura favors him, perhaps Kuyaz in one fell swoop. And if Asura favors him further, then further down south, Ain Balik Castle would be the last holding of the Sultan this side of the world. There is much work to be done. There is no time to waste. We march. Down to Tubalis Castle. We're about 600, just under 600 strong. The garrison of Tubalis can't be that grand. We could turn to Garantor Castle, perhaps pick up some of the garrison there to further strengthen our numbers. After all, it seems the Asurai have not been able to penetrate our frontiers they sneak behind us and raid our villages, sure, but they haven't been able to conquer anything. They haven't been able to threaten us at all outside of Ortizia. We could even consider traveling all the way back to Charas, nestled in this corner over here, largely safe from any aggression from the Asarai at the least. That is an option. Garantori is closer, though. We could leave some of our low-tier recruits behind. Gives us an option to... Uh, <laughs> see some greater successes down the line. But no, these young boys will be hardened on the battlefield. 
We'll head down to Tubalus Castle as we are composed now, but should we face another Pyrrhic victory, which we did face twice last time, uh, we might consider turning back to Garantor and strengthening our, our marching army. Let's march, folks. No more time to dally, no more time to chatter. There is there is a lot to do. So Tubalus Castle is put under siege, uh, you know, tomorrow, as per, uh, as per our timeline is concerned. We have 35 days worth of food for our army, and we have a fairly sizable military force marching down here. Uh, we are still... I, I think we're still largely high-quality troops, so our front line, our infantry, is weakening slightly. I sincerely hope that we'll see some success down here that will allow those troops to level up quickly. Uh, some nice field battles, perhaps, against weaker enemy armies would provide some good training. Uh, but but failing that and, and failing some you know decent successes again, like I said, we can go back up to Garantor Castle and uh, and sort out our issues. Down over here, you know what? It's only 372 defenders. Of that, the garrison is only 147. We can actually be pretty aggressive over here, and maybe we can hit Kuya's uh, sort of back to back over here. Let's take a quick peek at our party over here. Again, a couple of adjustments to make as always. Go ahead and put Alkyria among the ranged, put Leothold with our cavalry. And we've got some Asurai footmen leveling up, fair enough. Do we have any prisoners willing to join us? Indeed we do, Mom look regular. Our cavalry has suffered a fair bit as well, which is a little uh, unfortunate, but we do have some Mom look cavalry and some Mom look regulars, you know, willing to join us. And we have a fair number of infantry uh, units in here as well, willing to join us. Well, eventually they'll be willing to join us uh, that are from sort of higher tier, or that, that are of a higher tier. So hopefully that'll happen sooner rather than later. Because while our own party is looking pretty good, I mean, if you look across the board, uh, yes, we have some Tier 2 and Tier 3 units, but by and large, it's looking uh, pretty solid, I would say. The rest of our uh, army and what the other parties are bringing is a little troubling, right? So <laughs> we'll see what we can do. So that's the party set. Let's go ahead and take a look at our inventory as well. I just want to make sure I'm properly equipped. Okay, we're equipped for field battles right now. Just need to remember that before things go horribly wrong. And uh, before I besiege Tubalus Castle, I just want to point out that over at Aristochorus, I was initially planning on, yes, picking up Dorian the Scholar, because he's leveled up, and I could have, uh, you know, ranked him up a little bit if we take a look at Dorian. Hang on a second. Do I also have a... I do. I have a focus point, and I've got a free attribute point. Ooh, I need to think about that. I need to figure out how I want to spend that. We can up our riding again. Right now, our limit is 70, which allows us to ride basically, you know, all the... All the war horses, I believe. I think some horses require riding skill of 100, but most are 60. So we're fine over here. Ooh, I wouldn't mind having squires and stuff. Tactics we could level up. Um, I've been told that these haven't been implemented, but it'll allow us to auto-resolve battles more often. I could continue to increase my charm as well, you know, considering the struggle we had in terms of convincing people to join us. Maybe, maybe. Stewardship as well. We've maxed that out. We could up our stewardship allows us to get another companion. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Further down, governor. One more companion for each town you own. Wow, okay, that starts to get really big really fast, doesn't it? I might go with some more stewardship. Trade, it's just a matter of performing trade to gain, um, to gain it. We've already maxed out our focus and everything here. Hmm. Something to think about. Alright, I, I should contemplate my focus point and my attribute point, and I'm curious to see what the council thinks uh, the Sultan should uh, further, what he should improve. By which I mean, I'm not sure yet, and uh, I'm curious what y'all think. <laughs> but, back on topic. Dorian the Scholar. He has a focus point, and I suppose we could have spent it on engineering um, to get him towards, like, improve masonry or something like that but it, it, it's okay it's not the end of the world uh i should have done that before i threw him back in as a governor but i do want to keep him as governor there so he can level um forest Corus castle up and then afterwards you know after we sue for peace and end this initial sort of rebellion um we'll reposition him into ortizia where hopefully he'll be able to um improve it the other thing as we start to besiege the castle the other thing i want to touch on is uh, it's been pointed out to me that giving Tovir uh, Ortizia was a bit of a foolish move. And uh, I do not disagree. He is a mercenary, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, so he is, it's, it's quite possible that he, he leaves us, spent despite all the gold we're spending and all that nonsense. Um, but 
Again, the council spoke repeatedly of uh, the horrendous betrayal at Aristocorus Castle. So for now, Tovir holds Ortizia, and he will continue to hold that until, uh, you know, for as long as he's our only vassal. Uh, but if he, if we even get an inkling of a, of a, of a hint of a thought that he might be uh, planning on leaving us, then of course we'll, we'll deal with that when the time comes. It's also part of the reason why I keep him in my army, because no one can speak to him if he's not roaming around. He's not roaming around, no one can speak to him, no one can hire him and steal him away from me. Uh, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at, um, oh right, I, I guess I should wait until, until that pops up again. My apologies. But let's take a look at our party here real quick. Uh, I just want to stay as opt up as possible and remove prisoners as well, because if at a moment's notice I need to chase an army or something like that, I, I'm a little tired of how much our prisoners slow us down. Not like a, a couple here and there is going to make much of a difference, but, uh, negative 0.18. Ooh, hello. Radagost. Welcome to engage me, Radagost, with your 60 soldiers. Less. Let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit. Again, our traditional three trebuchet, fire, ballista, battering ram. In fact, let's go ahead and get rid of you and get the ballista after the battering ram. I feel like that should be good enough. I'm not sure how... Ooh, Tamnu Castle. Hmm. I wish I'd... I wish I'd checked how this other war was progressing, because it looks like it's still happening here. Um... But yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm going to beat down uh, Tubalus defenses. I think I'll just wait until the walls crack and then we can push in. Um, but really quickly, I do want to check how the Asurai are... Forgetting, I can't search them like that. How they're doing in their other wars. They are at war with the Kuzate still. Wow, okay, interesting. Interesting, okay. Yorig is coming down over here. Oh, he's got a sizable force, actually. Fair enough. Move you to reserve. Hopefully he didn't take too much damage there. And... Away they go. I'm assuming they've got called into an army. Probably to help fight against the Kazate. It, it is wild that they are still at war with the Kazate. I assumed that they weren't because they kept sending so many large armies against me. Nukar got ransomed. Okay, fair enough. Nothing we can do about that. But yeah, it, uh, they, just kept, they just kept coming. <laughs> so I assumed that war must be over and it must just be a one-front war for them, but... But this is good. It's possible that that war was over, and only recently did it start up again. Uh, that is that is a possibility. So, we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye out for any you know peace declarations or anything like that. Also, this is starting to become pretty expensive, isn't it? We're losing money on a daily basis. I should have got perhaps some more... No. That's not good. If that If that caravan gets destroyed... That could be a bit of a problem. I should probably head back to Charas. Not Charas, sorry, but uh, Ortizia. And maybe build some more workshops or something. I need to do something. Um, because this, that, 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 that's, this is not good. It, it doesn't seem like much, but losing a thousand every day... It's going to start taking its toll at one point. Alright, here we go. Come on, let's get to work here, boys. Come on now. Come on now. I hate when they focus on the walls first. There we go. 364. And it was pointed out to me that, yes, when we when we lose our um, siege equipment, we take losses as well. So uh, that's why... Ooh, Odhan. And Ayalis. Wow. Wow. Well, 400 in Aldhan's army are uh, simply recruits. We can't see the situation in Ayalis' army, but Aldhan's army, over half of it, is, is Asurai recruits. Do I fancy my chances? They're coming to strike. They, you, you don't march two armies towards a besieged castle and not strike. Well, let's check our party really quickly. This is going <laughs> to be an interesting start. It's not too late to sue for peace, but um, the surrender now would be to show the ultimate weakness. Asura is with us. We've done well so far. There must be reason for that. There must be reason for that. Go ahead and pick all of you up. And uh, hopefully that'll make enough of a difference over here. That'll we go. Try to get these shots in. Nice. At least, at least we didn't take any losses there. My friend! My heart is glad to see you. Do not lie to me, Aldhan. Don't expect you to surrender. 
but I'll give you the chance to do so. Stay your hand. Perhaps you don't have to come to blows. I, I know... I know he's not going to be convinced. I know he's not even going to want to listen while he's in an army. But I have to give it a shot. We'll fight to our last drop of blood if we have to. Doesn't have to be like this, Eldon. Does not have to be like this. And yet it is. And so we stand and fight. That is, uh, that is terrifying. I don't understand. Does this mean they're stronger than me? The red and the yellow. I'm red. They're on this. Are they, are they stronger than me? That's terrifying. That would be terrifying if they are that much stronger than me. Perhaps I've grown too confident from our successes up north, but uh, only time will tell. I suppose to the battlefield we go. And gotta do my, uh, my finger stretches. <laughs> Make sure all the commands go out cleanly. Make sure we succeed here. Cannot afford significant losses. Hopefully the battlefield favors us. Let's begin. It uh, might. We might be able to pose up over there. Or, you know what? Down over here, I think. Do it. Get everybody off their horses, so to speak. Build wall. Cavalry. Yeah, our cavalry continued as... It's been horribly whittled down. 14? Wasn't there a time when we had 50? Archers are fine up over here. There's maybe slightly better ground over there, but reinforcements will be coming in from behind us, which is a good thing. Go ahead and take care of that horse archer over there. there are Lance out. In we go, in we go, in we go. Oh. It's okay. Someone got him. And that's what matters. Someone got him. How did I miss that time? Okay, sorry. Not the end of the world. That's not uh, a promising start, though. Alright, looks like they're just charging us, which is good. They are the attackers here. Go ahead and get ourselves up over here. See what we can do. Get our cavalry out over here. You guys into a wedge formation. 46 archers on their side. Alright, sharpshooters are firing away. Good stuff. We go in a little early. A little earlier than usual. Let's go. Horse archers, take command. We go in, we go in, we go. Leotold fell already. Taking some losses. Pull back. I might need to get involved personally here. Glaive out. Get a couple of charges in. Hopefully I can get a couple of clean hits. Radagost is down. Excellent. Good stuff, good stuff. Good successes so far, it seems like. Go ahead and charge those horses, men. Come on now. And we go. Our archers are getting a lot of work done still. It's excellent. Down you go. That's right, youth. It hurts to kill. Beautiful stuff, men. Beautiful stuff. Scaring them all off. All these recruits not willing to fight for long. Frontline is taking some damage, though it's not like this is a completely oh clean fight for us. But we hold our we hold our lines. We're good. We're okay. Horse archers fall back. I see you. I see you. And we go. We are taking losses. I don't like that. Recruits largely, but still losses. We want to level those recruits up, let's not forget. Charge them, charge them, let's go. Fall back meanwhile, they are coming in for a second wave it seems like. Horse archers take control. Cavalry come down over here. Our archers are able to fire away, good stuff. I might want to get a infantry charge going. Go ahead and get our cavalry coming through as well. Go, men are doing quite well. In we go, in we go. Oh jeez, this is not good. Need to keep moving. Our infantry is coming up as well. They have lost their lines, obviously. Their cohesion. But... I think that's fine. The advantage of, of pushing forward here is far more important. Far more useful. Come on now. Don't want to get too far ahead, though. I want to make sure our archers are still able to help. Our archers up over here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on to bend over here. Cavalry, push through. Let's go. 
Hopefully we're also shutting down their archers. Taking some losses here, but that's to be expected. We are largely outnumbered here, greatly outnumbered. But I think we've done pretty well. Our archers are also, I think, getting some shots in from the side over here, which is excellent. Footmen keep marching up. Let's go. Lots of archers over here. We cannot let them flee too easily. My horse is badly hurt. If we can't get a little bit of work done over here. Archers still firing away. I almost... Actually, I almost want to let the, uh, the archers get away before they drop more of my men. Again, we can't take too many significant losses here. Getting some work done of our own. Let's see if we can't take some more uh, lords with us. I don't even know if you're a lord or not. Don't look like it. Ah, too far away. They're gonna get away from you, aren't they? We've done pretty well, though, looking at... Uh, power, like the balance of power and things like that. Dropped him off his horse. Fall back, fall back, fall back. We don't need to take more losses. Especially to my cavalry. It's already pretty, hef pretty like, heavily weakened compared to what we used to have. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, got away. Okay, we're okay. That was not too bad at all. That was not too bad at all. Now, hopefully, we might have picked up some troops as well. That would be nice, actually, if we picked up some troops from this battle. But wow, we took on two armies. Aldhan, wounded. We are prisoner now. Well done, men. Absolutely glorious. Absolutely glorious. That was not an easy fight. That was not an easy fight. Not to, like, not numbers aside, just like the, uh, the stress level, I can still feel my heart beating through my chest right now. That could have gone horribly wrong. We lost less than 100 men. I would say that's a decent, uh, decent result. Gained a fair bit of renown, influence, and morale. What did we lose? We lost an Imperial Infantryman, three Imperial Legionaries, that's not good. Vlanian Footman, Vlanian Sergeant, Militia Spearman, okay. And looters, okay. Armed Traders, Mamluk Regular, that hurts a lot. That hurts a lot. Over here, Militia Spearman, okay. Recruit, okay. 22 Imperial Recruits, that's a, that's a chunky number. And then Militia as well. You see, it's mainly the low-tier units that we're losing now, but we are, every so often, every once in a while, taking some losses to our, you know, higher-tier Gallants and, 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 and Billmans and, 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 and... Oh. Hey, this is not too bad. Just 18 recruits over here as well. Okay, so so it does feel like it's largely low-tier units that we're losing. I can, I, can, I can seek some solace in that, I suppose. And 123 units, meanwhile, have leveled up, so at least there's that going on as well. We're done here. A well-fought battle, I think. Managed to take advantage of terrain that wasn't entirely in our favor, if I'm completely honest. I, I felt a little worried about our circumstances, and I I feel like the charge, the infantry charge, was, uh, was worth it. Um, what I worry about is... I'm trying to think of when we started taking some some serious losses because there was that one wave where we started taking some losses and it feels like when they when our infantry got just a little too far from ranged support is when that happened just a little too far i think that i think that's i think that's what it was oh han how many times must we do this how many times must we do this I could set him free, but it does nothing for me. It'll help relations ever so slightly, but it's already so high. Taking him as a prisoner won't hurt his relations. And it'll prevent um, the Asurai from immediately raising an army, and it might get us some uh, some ransom money, right? So that's why we're taking everybody prisoner still. That was That's a lot of prisoners. Eight troops? Okay, well, at least it's something, I guess. Imperial infantrymen leveled up. Good. Good. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, wonderful. What I kind of want to do at some point, maybe in today's session, is I kind of want to take a look at our entire... Well, look at that. Looters become Imperial infantrymen. Like, can't complain about that. Uh, but I, I kind of want to look at our entire composition and just really get an understanding of how we feel about it. Um, how I feel about it. 
let's go with mom look i need i need some more cavalry like i, I need to find the gaps and i need to uh to fill them out infantry is still kind of it's starting to weaken as time goes on not that bad yet i wouldn't call that a pyrrhic victory at all but it is starting to weaken and then uh, cavalry we need more of now we can always go up to our castles our holdings and pick up some uh some infantry cavalry though is going to be challenging to to get like that <laughs> considering we haven't left any behind last i recall let's try and get the highest tier infantry we can get first and then we can take a look at other options like cavalry that's where i'm on with cavalry actually is these guys are a little too high tier to just ignore Imperial trained infantry yep what else have we got over here that's where i'm on with Axemen, I mean, if it's the best we can get, it's the best we can get. Go ahead and get some more Mamluk regulars, tribal horsemen, and sure, Mamluk Axemen. Pick them all up. We'll have some room. Still have some room. Get the Sturgeon Berserker, perhaps. Imperial Veteran Archer, sure. Asurai Youth, don't mind if I do. I guess we could leave it at that doesn't make sense doesn't make sense let's go ahead and pick up some more get ourselves some that's oh, right footman i suppose is an option let's go ahead and get the sturgeon spearmen they're higher tier and let's go ahead and get ourselves the sturgeon soldier as well starting to use sturgeons in our armies trying to use whatever we can to see success i suppose all right fair enough we have one more slot available Let's get the uh, Asurite infantry. I've been saying I need to improve my in infantry, but I keep uh, I keep picking up everything else as well. All right, we're done here. I think we're done here. Yes. Everybody else, I guess, gets distributed among the other parties that fought with us. Let's go ahead and pick up the loot. Of course, no reason not to. I do have some war. Ho oh, I was like, what is that massive army still alive? No, it's not. Uh, I do have some war horses, but I guess no one's at that level anymore, which is Telling. I think there was that one battle where we lost a lot of cavalry. I think there was that one battle where we lost a significant chunk of our cavalry contingent. Or over time, we've managed to level everybody up. I mean, I don't know, 10 Asari Mamluk heavy cavalry? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think that's the case at all. Continue the siege here. Keep at it here. Yeah, we took some significant losses, but we still have over 500. We'll have over 500. Move you to reserve. Get another trebuchet going already. That way, when this one gets destroyed, we'll have a trebuchet available. Hakan has been ordered. We lost our treb. Put the list down. Okay, there it is. Down it goes. No surprise there. Get ourselves the fire onager. Onager? Onager? I've never known. I feel like it's fast. I feel like the... the I don't think it's nah. Alright. We're okay. We're okay. Still getting some work done here. Really trying to figure out when I want to pull the trigger. Maybe at maybe at 300 garrison or sub 300 garrison. Well, I want to crack both walls as well, of course, or first. And I think that'll naturally lead us to sub 300 garrison for sure. I don't want to sit around here and, and watch this for you know three hours, hypothetically speaking, metaphorically speaking, whatever you want to call it. But I do want to make sure that we uh, stack the odds in our favor, obviously, before we go in. So far, so good. <laughs> so far, so good. I want to crack those walls for sure. Don't think I see another relief army coming anytime soon either. So that's promising. And again, this is directly one of um, Umkid's holdings, right? So it directly hurts him. Gotta stop the conspiracy. Or we'll just we'll just win before before they do. Is my assumption as to what I need to do there? We go less than 290. One of the walls is cracked almost. Plenty of influence to, to spend on this. We're good. We're good. We're doing well. We're doing well. Okay, see, this is this is when it gets like, stop firing at the walls. Take care of the ballistae first. Get rid of active defense first. That's like... Strategy 101. Take care of the things that can hurt you before you take care of anything else. Now, what happened here? Leadership. Nice. Up to 200. Public talker helps us when we're a governor. Inspiring warrior helps us when we are a governor. Now, as a player character, you're the governor anytime you're staying at a settlement. 
10% more effective forum marketplace arena temple festival effect. Okay, that's not bad, but I, I think maybe inspiring warrior is better because that way, if we're staying at a place, we replenish the recruitment options faster and we can kind of stay and do like a recruitment drive. I think inspiring warrior is the way to go. And then we can get... Ooh, troops under your command gain 20% more battle XP. That sounds good. Swords as tribute. Heroes under your command gain 20% more XP. I would probably go with, with troops under your command. That seems more like the Partia thing, right? So for now, let's go with inspiring warrior. I feel like that makes sense. Considering how things have changed over the last however long. It's wild to think about the character development, I think. Inspiring Warrior. 20% faster notable recruitment replenishment. Go for it. And I still have my um, focus point and stuff to, to, to think about. Not forget. Alright. Walls are almost done. They'll be done simultaneously, it feels like. Down goes one. Down goes another. And I want to make sure they don't have any siege equipment either. Oh. Looks like we're good. So 267 of them. 472 of us. I feel relatively comfortable. Garrison has been, yeah, largely reduced. A lot of archers, but not that many. We can try to do the thing that was mentioned to me previously about pulling all of our troops back and firing into clumps. I want to see if we can pull that off. Um, because it's an interesting idea, and it's different from anything like we've done before. Successfully, at least. Uh, and it's always nice to explore certain, you know, evolutions of, of combat, military conflict. Pick up these Asterite tribesmen. Up the Mamluk soldier and the Asrite recruits as well. Buff up our numbers before we dive into this battle. Maybe shouldn't have picked up the um Maybe shouldn't have picked up the uh cavalry, but it's not the end of the world. We should be okay. It's gonna be a serious fight though. We need to make sure we do well here, right? Because if we wanna if we do want to move to Kuyaz next, we have to come come out of this cleanly. So lead the assault. Oh no, 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 no. Almost forgot. But I didn't. Did not. Change our equipment here. Gotta make sure I get my beautiful... My beautiful woodland longbow. And... Let's, ooh, splintered piercing arrows. Four pierce. Stack them out as 23. Could try it. Try it. It's a slightly smaller stack, but I mean... We might be able to pick up some arrows from, you know, from the ground and whatnot. So, sure. Done here. Yep, properly equipped. Yep, yep. All good. I do want to, as far as gear is concerned, I am looking at upgrades, and I'll touch more on that soon. Maybe today, maybe in the next session. But I am looking at upgrades for gear in uh, in a couple different senses, and I'll, we'll touch on that later. For now, let's lead this assault and take Tubalist Castle. It's wild how, how this war has been going. It's actually been going a fair bit better than I'd anticipated, I'll be completely honest. All right, so, hmm, it's going to be an interesting fight, isn't it? Literal uphill struggle. We've got our trebs and our catapult. We have our battering ram as well, though I don't know if I want it to be used. If I auto-deploy everybody, they kind of just, like, do their own thing. Um, let's see. Bring you guys over here. Archers. I'm okay with the archers moving up nice and early and, and getting some shots in, right? Because we have some pretty high-quality archers. Move our cavalry over to this side over here. We'll try and keep them all back. And uh, the battering ram... Yeah, let's get rid of the battering ram. I would prefer the enemy clump up at these breaches and maybe we can get some hits in. Maybe. Gotta pull over here. Like, we don't really have the best angles for some of these... Uh, with some of these siege weapons. Like, I prefer one of these things to be over here to fire straight down the gullet there. You know, over here we might have some decent angles. Maybe. Maybe. Depends. Well, let's begin. Let's see what we can do, right? Hopefully we don't take too many losses. That's what matters most, I think. Yeah, that's okay. Men stay back. Cavalry, stay back. All right, men are on the trebuchet. And on the catapult, yep. That's going through. Archers are getting some work done as well. Good stuff. Expect nothing less. Oh, wow. Archers are getting a lot of work done. Trebuchet firing away as well. Those are archers. That's fine. I was like, who's that marching up there? Archers. That's okay. I love seeing the uh, fiery shots of the catapult. 
Oh, the trebuchet rock going through. Try to take control of that one ourselves. If we can't cause some damage. Our, our archers are, yeah, starting to whittle down the- Oh no, lost an Imperial Militia Archer. I mean, we're going to take some losses, obviously, right? Nature of the Beast. Valanian Sharpshooter, that's not what I expect to lose. What are you guys doing? Uh, maybe I should give them the advance order. Or delegate. Let's just see if they do anything. Oh no, they were already delegated, sorry. Alright. See if we can't get ourselves on this trebuchet. If we can't. Can we not? That's weird, it's not letting me use it. We're starting to take some losses here. Don't quite like that. Okay, fine. Over to the catapult then. Because I know we can use that. Done it before. I thought I used... I don't know, I'm not sure. It wasn't giving me the uh, the, the trigger. Alright. No big deal. I think it's time to move in, by the way. Our early successes have stopped. Like We saw some kills come through early on, but... That time has passed. We're just taking losses. Alright. Come on now. There we go. I wonder. I wonder. Thank you. Nope, that's way off. Way off. But it was like the right distance. If the angle was right, we do pretty well. No one seems to be firing anymore, and that bothers me. Ooh. Nah. Alright, enough time wasted. Let's go. We're starting to pointlessly take losses here. I can't sit for that for any longer. Move up. There we go. I guess I should have given the charge order sooner. Again, wounds, wounds, not so bad, but deaths, deaths are murder. Deaths will slow us down. Oh my god. I don't like how that top right corner is looking. Taking more losses than I would have liked, for sure. Come on now, let's get some work done over here. Gotta get some work done quickly over here. What is this four pierce doing nothing? Finally. Come on now. 13 arrows left. Look, we've barely done anything. Come on. That was a headshot, wasn't it? Oh, so close. Down you go. Excellent. Nope. Very close, though. There we go. A little bit of damage there. I should hope our men are breaching the walls. We're almost out of arrows here. Time for us to get involved in the breaches ourselves, I think. Oh. No, they're not. But I give everybody... Oh, right. I, I, I normally default to pressing 6 to choose everybody because it's not typically assigned to anyone. But I forgot that the siege battle has so many uh, categories of soldiers. Oh, that's on me. It's entirely on me. Okay, it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. We're at the breach. We're pushing through. We'll do well. We'll do well. There aren't that many defenders or anything. We'll be able to rest once we uh, take the castle. It was time to recuperate. Oh, this is not good. Solid shield wall over here. We're okay. Come on now. Come on, men! Fight for glory! Fight for freedom. Fight for your sultan. Or he fights among you. Alright, this is a tough nut to crack. Oh, looks like we're kind of backing them up into a corner, though. That's good. Again, most of our losses are wounds, which is also good. Come on now. There we go. Finally. Such a mosh pit over here. Come on, men! Yes. Beautiful. Push! Push! Fend them off! 
beautiful. All right, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. We're just kind of going with the flow over here, literally. There we go. We've we've overwhelmed them. That initial meat grinder has been dealt with. We're now in. I wish I had more arrows. Not the end of the world. Pushing up over here, losing losing some more troops. I don't like that. Taking the walls, yep. Moving in deeper into the city. Yeah, we. I, I wish I hadn't uh, stayed back. I wish I'd just gone with the auto-deploy and, and pushed in. All oh, these guys are all giving up, aren't they? But it's okay. Again, it looks like most of those were wounds and not deaths. So that's promising. But maybe that's just a lie I tell myself. Oof, that's pretty bad. Not the worst. Oh my god, losing some high-tier troops now. What's left? Fighting up there? Ah, fair enough. Let's see if we can't help push through. Losing footmen. I think the fighting is almost done. We'll make our way up if we can. If there's any fighting left when we get up there. Oh yeah, just kind of bugged up over here, eh? What? It's like, what, one guy is being surrounded by all of our men? Is that what's happening over here? Come on now. Going on over here, these guys are just kind of falling to their deaths. That doesn't help me. Can't even see who we're trying to kill over here. Pull back. Let them follow us. Let them follow us. Pull them out. Draw them out. There we go. That's how it's done. Never had to get so, um... Like, specific with my commands in a siege battle. That cost us as well. I don't... Mm, I don't know how I feel about that. That was an expensive battle. I mean, well done, men, but... That was an expensive battle. Oh, look at that. Look at the... Look at the bloodstains. The thousand yard stare. Alright, I'm kind of worried about seeing these numbers. Okay, I was worried they went well past 100 at the end there. But that's that's a, that's a lot rougher than, than I'd uh, hoped for. Lost a couple legionaries, militia spearmen. Mat 3 master archers, 5 sharpshooters, 5 palatine guard. Palatine? Palatine? Not sure. Militia. Armed traders, armed traders, okay. Imperial crossbow. Uh, that And that's all on me. I... I well, a big chunk of it is on me. I should have just given charge commands. I don't know why they didn't um, take positions properly when I... I don't know. It's fine. It's not It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. I'll, I'll look back on playback and try and figure out what went wrong there, but um, we'll be able to recover from that. We'll be able to recover from that. We'll be fine. Oh, look at that. We're immediately recovering from that, in fact. 77 troops. Don't mind if I do. We've got some... Well, first of all, let's go ahead and level up our own troops. And it's great to see that as we've liberated Tubalus Castle, the citizens know why we're here. They understand why we've come. And I understand why they had to fight to defend the castle, of course. You know, if, if they didn't, then should Unkid somehow manage to take it back from us, you know, his wrath would fall upon them. So I understand why they had to fight. So we've got an Imperial veteran infantryman, a Sea Raider chief, Batanian skirmishers, Jawal recruits, I'll take everything here. Some Batanian clan warriors, Jawal Bedouin, and you know, volunteers, Jawal camel rider, highwayman, brigand, hillman, Bedouin rovers, and looters. 54 looters. I mean, numbers are numbers. We're at 258. I could give a bunch of them to my um, army mates, right? We got 60 prisoners as well. How many prisoners can I carry? I got room for just six more. Well, it's because we've got all the uh, all these guys, right? We can go ahead and pick them all up. We'll organize that when we uh, get into the castle. Wow. We have our foothold. That's what matters. We have crossed over the water. Well, across the isthmus. You know what I mean. Our relations with Banu Julian continues to reduce. Tubalist castle has fallen to your troops. Indeed it has. Indeed it has. I think we'll hold on to this for ourselves. 
At least for now. Until until more vassals join us. We'll hold on to it for ourselves. Head on over. And, uh, I mean, it's got good food stocks. We'll need to repair the walls and stuff, but... This becomes our new holding point, right? We could even bring Garrison down from, uh, from Garantor. If we feel it's necessary. But for now, let's go ahead and manage the castle over here. Lula increasing her roguery. Not gonna complain about that. Training fields, walls are up. Train militia works for me. Yeah, this all seems decently enough set. I'll get the Castellan's office added. Go ahead and get militia grounds added as well. Those training fields, yeah, absolutely. Some money down as well. Sure. And we are done here. Let's take a look at the dungeon, because this is where uh, <laughs> this is where we're going to spend a little bit of time. Seems Radagos was taken by one of ours. There's two Radagos, okay. Lek and Utis. Aldhan? We'll keep Aldhan with us. There's a chance that we can get a better ransom if we keep him with us and we just threaten him, like scare him into staying. Uh, but for now, who do we drop off? 151, 152, so we gotta get rid of like about 40 prisoners. Dump a bunch of Astra recruits. Sure. Astra militia spearmen. Sure. We can pick them up later to drop them off as, um, as garrison is the thing. The master archer as well, there's no business having an Astra, uh, master archer, Astra marcher, <laughs> words following me around. Yeah, everybody else is okay. Do we have any other tier? Oh, that's not really good. Okay, good stuff. Stuff, we're done here. Go ahead and take a look at our followers as well. Give, uh, give Dula and Valdim some of those looters. I mean, the problem though, actually, you know what? Okay. Uh, let me inspect your troops. The problem with giving them looters is that they can't level looters up. Like I can. Um, I don't think so, at least. So I can give them, you know, Imperial trained infantrymen. I can give them other soldiers. Militia spearmen, nobody can level up. That's fine. Pass you over. Pass you over. Might as well do a little bit of cleaning as well, right, at the same time. Good. What are your numbers looking like? 78, so just two more we can give. Fair enough, fair enough. Two more. Mercenary guard and... Militia Veteran Archer. Cool. 80 there. We still have a few too many. Not that bad, actually. Okay, done here. Nope, nothing else. I'm asleep now. Thank you. And Valdim, we must speak urgently before men start to disband. It has been a while, hasn't it? Hard day's work taking two of this castle, but worth it. Yeah. I guess it was. It was definitely a hard day's work. He is at 70 as well, so just 10 soldiers I can pass on to him. Go ahead and get you your REI. Get you the Sturgeon Brigand. Galanian Footman, sure. Hidden Hand, you can take him. Imperial Archer as well. We've got some Sea Raider Chief, Battalion Skirmisher. Battalion Volunteer. One more be the brigand. What are we looking at for ourselves now? 270... 286 on the dot. Wow. Wonderful. That worked out. I'm asleep now. Now the question is, what do we do? We've got... We're still 400 strong, are we really? I guess we could wait here for a while. Rest and recuperation is in order, I suppose. Heal up. Heal our, our army up. Perhaps, again, Lady Ottawa is in a celebratory mood. We'll find out. Uh, but let's, yes, let's wait here for some time. And then we make our move towards Kuyaz. Lots of looters in the area, eh? I've seen that 35 marching back and forth repeatedly. To locate. Oh, the Han has escaped. Oh, I forgot to speak to him. That is what it is. It's not the end of the world. It's hilarious to me, though. We're in a castle. He's in our army, and yet he's managed to escape. Oh, actually, since we're here right now, let me just leave real quick. I shouldn't have left. The Hassan Falk belongs to the Kuzate Vostrum, all the way down to Vostrum. By Kaon, Synopsis. I'm, I assume Varagos is under siege by, yep, Hurunag. 
Kuzet ride. <laughs> no other way to put it. And the Asterai, I mean, geez. Tamnu Castle, we saw, I think, an assault on Tamnu Castle. I assume it failed, given the color over here. Shameful. Shameful. And now we're here as well. Not much, not much left to take, really. Not much left to take. Alright, wait here for some time. 444 is ominous. Inauspicious number in some cultures. Owner of Tubalus Castle is going to be me. Yep, myself. It says relation with Tower will de decrease, but it it doesn't. And I'm sure he understands. He has a city to take care of. Hopefully he, he takes care of it well. I could speak to him and give him another gift and improve relations further, but we'll uh, deal with all that, all that stuff later. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these prisoners willing to join us. Yeah, handful. Not that we, not that we can take them on because, of course, we're at our maximum limit, but we'll be able to redistribute troops and whatnot. I want to get to about 500 before we move around and pick up some more recruits because we do need to pick up some more recruits for sure. But I want to make sure we're a sizable force before we do that, which we almost are. Trying to make some money now, finally, again. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I think that's about all the patience I have. 499 is close enough. Head out. Down to Fanab and Tubulus. Speak to our, you know, our people. Let them know who leads them and why. Head on over. And then we'll, we'll check out what the situation is at Kuyas. It'll certainly have a garrison. <laughs> It'll certainly have numbers. But, uh see if they're numbers that we can deal with. Don't mind if I do. No food variety, unfortunately. Lots of food, but no food variety. So let's see if we can't do something about that. Helps our, uh, what is it again? Stewardship, right? Even though I think that might be close to maxed out. If not already maxed out. And you can continue to gain skill points. She is fine. That's good. More recruits for Ottawa and Tovir. Good stuff. Nothing to pick up over here. It's also good to see, um, like Charas and all, the last time we checked, had decent food stocks and things like that as well, so we don't have to worry about that, which is very, very nice to see. Alright, Kuyaz, what do you have? What defends Kuyaz? Have they abandoned the front, perhaps? No, they have not. Wow. <laughs> 892 defenders. Eight hundred and ninety-two defenders is no joke. Now, one hundred and ten Asari recruit. Okay, lots of master archers, some sharpshooters. We've got some imperial archers. I wish I could see the whole list, but this is this is obviously not the whole list, but but it's a daunting list nonetheless. Okay, eight hundred and ninety-two. If I pull back, and everybody fills up, right? I've got two eighty-six, another one hundred and sixty, three hundred. 440, plus another 100, 540, plus another, what, 80 was it for Tovir? Well, about 600. I mean, we took on the 700 of Ortizia, right? So what's the uh, 800 of Kuyaz? Well, 900. I should stop calling it 800. That's 900. Music kicking in at the right time. I don't, I don't know if now is the time for peace either. I would much rather... You know, go up to Garantor and pick up, uh, pick up some more troops and, and strike again. The only benefit, the only benefit I can think of, of seeking peace, would be to, would be what? It, if, if we sought out peace, the benefit would be that, uh, we'd be able to go around, we'd be able to maybe trade a little bit. That's, that's all very kind of, um small stuff right now in the grand scheme of things. The, the big benefit of, of seeking out peace is that we might be able to speak to people. Chasing Partia's party, Nukar, what gives you such confidence? Is there a large army behind you? Nukar. We do not get along. Banu Julian. Um, anyway, sorry, what I was getting at was, right, if we seek peace, the, the best thing we could look for is the opportunity to speak to more nobles of the Asari. But, because they're still at war with, um... with the Kuzate... Oh no, that war is done. 
Maybe that explains why there were those two massive armies charging towards me. Interesting. Okay, that does change some things. If that war is done now... And they're only at war with, you know, minor factions and us. Then we could seek peace. And try to convince other lords to join us. And if we were to do that, okay, so Kuyaz and Ain Balik belong to the Sultan. So there's no getting them. Banu Arbas. I just want to get an idea of which which holdings we might be able to get a hold of. Uh, Ayala's relations is 38. That's Askar and Berihal Castle. So that's this section over here. Who's in charge of Sanala? Banu Hulian. Okay, that's a problem. So we got to deal with Unki directly. Ukba Castle belongs to Banu Sarmal. Go ahead and take a look at that. Banu Sarmal is Aldhan. Relations is 60. We might be able to convince him. So that's, uh, that's a promising push, right? Berihal and Askar. As Askar, I guess, and then Ukba Castle up over here. What else do they have? Just Ukba Castle. They also had Orish to Chorus, didn't they? Not anymore. Over here, who's the owner? Does that all belong to Sanala? Some of it does. Medeni, Banu Saran. Banu Saran is Adram. Oof. Those relations aren't very good. Um... Asira is Banu Atij. I'm just checking. Balancing out my uh, my thinking here. Yeah, Talas doesn't like us. He didn't like us that much when we declared independence either. Iakis belongs to Banu Karaz. Led by Suruk. We get along. There are conversations to be had. We could get a lot of land through conversation. We are able to sue for peace as well. And in fact, let me actually take a look at something here. That's not what I meant. Um, in this war, we'd be paying tribute. That's a little ridiculous. Look at the numbers, look at the casualties inflicted. By the way, this is, yeah, like flipped. We've inflicted almost 100k, they've only inflicted 3200. I mean, yes, we're weaker than them at present, but... They do have a lot of successful raids as well, but that's because we have morals. I mean, we could push for peace. Uh, we could try and wait for an engagement to come our way and discuss peace instead. That we wouldn't spend influence, we'd just spend money. Um, I worry, though. The thing is, like, again, I'm talking about all these conversations we can have, but the reality is, if they stay clumped in armies, then I won't be able to have those conversations. I won't be able to have those conversations. With that said, though, because they're not at war with the Kuzate anymore, we're still more likely to have those conversations now than we were when they were on multiple wars. Slash when they're at war with us, so... Oh man, I really could go either way. I really could go either way. Oh, and look at this shot too, looking down at Kriyaz. I mean, the city certainly calls to me. But I'm curious what the council thinks. We could seek out peace. We could seek out diplomacy. Liberate more of our people that way. Blood can stop being spilled. We've consolidated the north. I'm pretty comfortable about that. It gives us an opportunity to train more troops against looters and, you know, minor factions and things like that. It's, uh, it's definitely something to think about, folks. Something to think about. Let me know what you think. But for now, we're going to call it a session. Uh, I wanted to briefly outline all the prospects which I think I have done quite well, I hope. Well, let me know if not. We could take Kuyaz, just to reiterate. We could attack Kuyaz. It'll be a prolonged siege, much like Ortizia was. Uh, but I think we can come out on top. It's a thousand defenders. It'll be a long, long siege. We'll have to fend off multiple armies, I'm sure. Uh, but it would allow us to, yes, take away everything that the former Sultan holds on this side of the world, basically. Uh, which is, you know, symbolic. A big driving force. On the flip side, we could seek out peace. We could try and have those diplomatic conversations. Try and convince the other lords to join us. It may or may not work out. My question is, what do we do if it doesn't work out? Do we declare a new war so, so soon after seeking out peace? Are we comfortable with paying a tribute to the Sultan? That, that bothers me a lot. I don't like the idea of paying him tribute. We are winning this war, we shouldn't have to pay tribute. 
lots to think about. Let me know what you think. Folks, this is where we're calling it a session, though. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, and how I go about doing it. Like I always say, I read all of the comments. So when I say, tell me what you think, tell me your thoughts, be my counsel, I mean it very directly, very literally. I will read through all the comments and gauge not just what y'all think story-wise, but also interest-wise. Keep the show interesting, right? <laughs> uh, but for now, though, folks... As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, from the hilltop outside Kuyaz, I bid you farewell. <laughs>